Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Ramnath Govind addresses the nation on the eve of 73rd Republic Day. Governor Professor Mukhi says Nagaland will march towards progress if all come together in unity. Nagaland observes 12th National Voters' Day today. A nation to celebrate 73rd Republic Day tomorrow. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Help and Numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Help and Number 1800345-0019. And now the news in detail. President Ramrat Kovin said it is the spirit of unity and of being one nation which is celebrated every year as Republic Day. In his address to the nation on the eve of the 73rd Republic Day, President Govind conveyed his heartiest greetings to all the people living in India and abroad. He said this year's celebrations may be muted due to the pandemic, but the spirit is as strong as ever. The President said the pandemic management was bound to be all the more difficult in India, but it is only in such difficult times that the resilience of a nation shines. He said a time of crisis has also made us appreciate how we all Indians are connected as one family. Stating that patriotism strengthens the sense of duty among citizens, President Govin said, whether you are a doctor or a lawyer, a shopkeeper or office worker, a sanitation employee or a labourer, doing one's duty well and efficiently is the first and foremost contribution you make to the nation. Governor of Nagaland and Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, has extended greetings to all on the occasion of 73rd Republic Day. The governor in his message said, This solemn day prompts us to recall with pride our nation builders and the architect of our constitution. He said our nation has emerged stronger and more dynamic amidst the turbulence and challenges guided by the core principles of this remarkable document that ensures liberty, equality and justice to all its citizens. The governor also paid homage to the countless heroes and martyrs whose sacrifices and sufferings led to the creation of this great republic nation. Governor Mukhi said, Nagaland as the 16th state of the Indian Union has made its indelible mark in the march towards growth and development of the country. He said despite constraints and challenges, the state has achieved significant milestones, making it an equal partner in the process of nation building. The governor, however, said in order to realize optimum output, one need to explore and adapt the potential of the resources, both natural and human, to enhance productivity in all sectors. He expressed positivity that the people of the state will reap the benefits and propel the state in the road to progress and prosperity of an Atma Nirpar Bharat. The governor expressed confidence that if all come together in unity, defying all, seeming barriers separating us, our state will be on the path to progress and development. Governor Mukhi called upon all to reiterate its commitment to peace to ensure a progressive and robust Nagaland. Nagaland joined the country in celebrating the 12th National Voters' Day, NVT, today. A state-level program under the theme Making Election Inclusive, Accessible and Participative was organised virtually by the Office of the Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland in Kohima. On the occasion, Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland V. Shashang Shekhar felicitated the newly enrolled voters and handed over the elector photo identity card. Besides seven best booth level officers and winners of the online poster with slogan writing competition for Gohima District were also felicitated. In his speech, Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashang Shekhar reminded of the President Ram Nath Kovin speech delivered last year 
that we should always respect the valuable right to vote. He emphasized that it is the responsibility of all of us, especially our youth, who get the right to vote for the first time to exercise the franchise with utmost sincerity and inspire others too to do so. Shekhar said the main focus is on young voters and technology enables several things, be it registering online application. He further advised young people to vigilantly use technology, saying that it is very useful, but one need to use it in a balanced manner. He also administered the NVT pledge to the officers and participants. Similar programs were also organized at various district election offices to mark the day. On the occasion of National Voters' Day, Chief Minister Nipirio said a successful democracy is one where every citizen is able to participate in the electoral process. Let us ensure that no voter is left behind, the Chief Minister added. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. The nation will celebrate its 73rd Republic Day tomorrow. The main function will be held at Rajpat in the national capital, where President Ramnath Govind will take the salute of the parade. The celebrations this year are special, as Republic Day falls in the 75th year of independence, being celebrated as Azadika Amrit Mahotsav across the country. To mark the occasion, the Ministry of Defence has conceptualised a series of new events during the main parade at Rajpat. Several firsts in the parade this time include the launch of Shahidon Go Shat Shat Naman program by National Gathered Corps, a grand fly past by 75 aircraft and helicopters of the Indian Air Force, cultural performances by 480 dancers selected through a nationwide Vande Bharatam dance competition, display of 10 scrolls each of 75 meters prepared during the Kala Gump event, an installation of 10 large LED screens for a better viewing experience of the spectators. A total of 939 police personnel will be awarded medals on the occasion of Republic Day 2022. Out of these, 189 are police medal for gallantry and 662 police medals are for meritorious services. 88 have been awarded President's Police Medal for Distinguished Services. Among the majority of the 189 gallantry awards, 134 personnel are being awarded for their gallant action in Jammu and Kashmir region. 47 personnel for their gallant action in left-wing extremist affected areas and one person for his gallant action in Northeast region. National Tourism Day is being celebrated today. The day is observed on the 25th of January every year to celebrate the diversity of the country. The theme for this year is rural and community-centric tourism. The Ministry of Tourism is observing this day under the ages of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. Tourism Minister G. Kishan Reddy has greeted everyone on National Tourism Day today. In a tweet, he said that tourism is important to the nation's economy. Reddy urged everyone to commit to promoting its sustainable development. He also asked everyone to resolve to focus on rural tourism. Nagaland reported 164 new cases of COVID-19 today, taking the total confirmed cases to 33,818. Nimabu reported 135 new cases, 15 in Kohima, 8 in Mogukchung, 3 in Woka, and 1 in Beren, Pek and Twensang. On the other hand, 68 recovered cases and one death due to COVID-19 were also reported. With this, the number of recovered cases has gone up to 30,987 and the total fatal days due to the infection mounts to 691. At present, there are 775 active cases in the state. And now, 20 news, here are the main points again. President Ramnath Govind addresses the nation on the eve of 73rd Republic Day. Governor Professor Mukhi says Nagaland will march towards progress if all come together in unity. Nagaland observes 12th National Voters' Day today. 
a nation to celebrate 73rd Republic Day tomorrow. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.